Y254. Imagine. Uh, pole sana kwa that technical issue, but we are back and I want to give it back to Enoch as I mentioned to you. Enoch is the young son to your guest of honor today, Brenda Betty Kiema, and he is called Enoch Kimeu. So that's a bit of a tongue twister there. But Enoch, I think he's ready now, so Enoch. You know, you know, ninety percent of these guys can't play the the piano. Yeah. They, they can't they even can't, read the notes. Yeah, they they, mm -hmm. they can't even. <laughs> 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 uh, anyone who can play the piano, by the way, here. Let me see. Hundred percent, hundred percent. All of them. Oh, mamma mia. You can't play tu, like that. Tu kowengi, tu kowengi kwa story. Eh? Enoch, Enoch, where you are, you are way ahead of us. You you said how how, how young is he? Enoch is 10 years. 10 years. He started playing at around 7. 7 years. Yes. Wow, so yeah. Yeah, the last 3 years, huh? Yes. Which class is he? He's in standard 4. Standard 4. Yeah. Uh, he's really nice. I mean, uh, by the time he he reaches some of our age, I'm sure he'll be an orchestra pianist. Yeah. Now, uh, before I take two questions from our audience. Yes. Maybe, the, I'm, I'm sure there are many times people with disability, because of the rejection they experience or because of simply having the, re of the disability they tend to also hate themselves if you want to say it happens a what lot. what what do you say to a person like that they should not hate themselves they just need to do an inner search what are you good at pursue that one out there they are good people who will hold your hand and help you to discover your potential your capabilities, and others, they will push you towards that. Towards that goal? Yes. Now, um, you have been blessed in many ways to have yes. people who have, you know, come into your path. You know, after 10 years of doing nothing, you said, of simply sleeping and hating yourself or just hating life and contemplating suicide. Or after 10 years, you, you decided to live as you said, and yeah. people came on in your way to help you. Are there some people who you, maybe who are watching and you'd like to say thank you to? I'm not sure whether they are watching. this man is watching, uh -huh. but uh, Father Francesco Pierli of Comboni Missionaries, mm -hmm. he discovered that, in fact, he's the one who told me, young lady, you're bright, and I will support you in your education. Mm -hmm. You just need to go back to school. After Form 4? No, after Bef diploma. After diploma? Yes. So he's the one who took you to degree? So he took me through BA and he took me through masters. masters. Wow. Yes. We, we thank God for, for him. Yes. Wow, awesome. Now I'm going to take two questions and uh, we have a, a, a gentleman here. This, this, this gentleman here. Uh, yes. I won't say much about him, but he's a very good young man. Uh, and he is sitting between... Uh, all right, go ahead. <laughs> uh, my name is Nicholas Kiyoko. Uh, maybe you have that some that person who is out there. Uh, Hold up the mic. Maybe you have that one person out there who is being discriminated, maybe because of disability. So, what advice could you give such a person? Yeah, someone who is being discriminated. Wait for it. Who is being discriminated because of disability? Uh huh. Okay, my name is Irene Morugi. Irene. Okay, I wanted to ask because there are many people who have disabilities and are begging in the streets. Mm -hmm. Most of them are usually we see it like they take it as an advantage 
because some of them you can see that they have an ability to do something, to do something. Uh -huh. but yet they are there begging. Uh -huh. How can you deal with such people? So you're, you're saying people who use this disability to seek sympathy? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Yes. Anyone else? Good. All right, so two questions. There you go. Go for it. Well, let me start with the second question. Getting employment as a person living with disability is so hard, very hard. Even when you have your master's, you have your PhD, you have everything. The employers, they will always hesitate to give you a job. The law requires you get a job. So what normally happens to most, actually the big number of people living with disability, they are very poor people, even their families are very poor. And because of this rejection, majority will find themselves in the street. So I will not say that they are using their disability to seek for sympathy or empathy. It is the environment, it is the society that is like that. I don't advocate for that. That needs to be addressed. But how? Mm -hmm. That's the question. The second question was about uh, people living with disability who are being discriminated. Using my own experience, I discovered that the society does not discriminate you because they have planned to do that. They don't know. In fact, people discriminate you unknowingly. We have been formed in a certain way. This is a perfect society which should have perfect people. And because you are in this situation, it's like you don't belong. And since the society or you, the, mem the people around you, they don't know how to relate with you, they would prefer to avoid you, and it will feel like a discrimination. It's something that it's at the subconscious mind of most of the people. For me right now, you can interact with me because you can see me talking and you know what I can do. But that other person, you cannot. Yeah. Okay, so uh, those, those that, I think that's the, those are the responses from Brenda. And I think there are some other questions from, uh, from our viewers on Facebook uh, on that. And I'll read the comments and then you will, you will answer where the questions are. So we have Kenny, Kenna Boy, uh, always a fan, watching from... Watching live from Narok, our guest for today looks beautiful. Wow, thank you. Yes, umepata. She is a conqueror despite what she has undergone. Feel loved. Hashtag mom. Your story indeed gives hope for life. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ken, Kenny. Uh, Kenna boy. Uh, then I have, I think this is bone min mineral disorder, BMD. I accept it and I'm living joyfully with this mental illness. No, I don't know if it was BMD, I'm not very sure. Uh, then, thank you so much, Colin Dewa says that you have a mental illness and you're living joyfully with it. That's uh, amazing. Uh, God bless you. Then we have Eman James. Good evening. I'm following the conversation from Mombasa. Naongeza volume. Asante. Uh, thank you so much, Eman James. Lillian Muli, array of hope for people living with disabilities. Thank you, our guest. With all due respect, kindly allow me to ask this. There are times that some people living with disabilities, it is a question that was asked, uh, use their condition to exploit others, right? Uh, or to unnecessarily manipulate others. What can you say to this, and especially to those doing it in the communities? Thank you. All right, so maybe you can consider that at the end. Then we have Gadara P. Where? Thank you so much, Lillian Muli. Gadara P. Hey, this is Peterson, and uh, it's good these people living with disabilities are getting out and encouraging and even changing lives of people. To collect Konayamta, say hi to Sam, Jonte, Nick, Shaz, and Refix. Does your mom know these are the names you're going with? <laughs> 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 well, okay. Eman James. Uh, why is it hard for someone who has disability to get a job or even be a co-host with Dominic? <laughs> <laughs> we are here. All right. It's, uh, I mean, she is my co-host, but you can answer the first part of the question. Uh, I think you've already answered that part, though. 
Again Eman James asked thank God kulikuwa na mvua nyingi but hakukuwa na mafuriko huko Mombasa. Ingeharibu signo ya kuwatch the power talk show. Enye, hey, this is a great fun man. Awesome, thank you Eman James. Keep lagat chapan chaplem a zero. Wait, this is let me read that again. Uh, keep lagat jap 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 japan chelem gang eng a zero. From Acero Village, Kabisaga, Ward, in Nandi County, but now at Elgon View, Estate Eldoret, watching. Thank you so much, Kip Lagat. I'm going to make sure that I know how to pronounce your name. And then we've got Waverwa Keyboard. Waverwa Keyboard. I think that's how uh, you read it. Uh, where Naivasha Mirera watching. Then again, Iman James is back. Do they have an organization meeting where they, they, they meet and talk about issues affecting them and come up with the conclusion? So we have a question about organization and those people with disability that uh, use their disability to exploit people. Uh, yes, I think that is uh, basically it. Thank you so much for your comments. Uh, if you have comments, other suggestions and comments and uh, questions, please do so on our Facebook page. Yeah, about the organization, there are so many organizations for people with disability, but I can say some of them really they don't get persons with disability talking about their own issues. Mm -hmm. And I think the time has come when we need to move from looking at the negatives, what is really happening to them, mm -hmm. and then now we move to their talents and skills and all that. And the media is good. It can promote that. So they, we need to stop see, like pitying and yeah, we see what they... Yeah, we need to move from pitying to well, yeah. you see what I can do. And you, and you use yes. that. Do you yes. want to name some of these organizations that may be... Uh, that are useful, maybe one or two that someone can register, someone they know? Well, already we have the one for the government, that's the National Council for People Living with Disability. National Council for People Living with Disability. Someone yes. can go and register with you that? You can register in that one. And in that one, mm -hmm. you can get school fee. School fees, you okay. You can get assistive devices. Okay. You can get money for economic empowerment. And the government has factored that. Wow. But people don't know. That's why, that's why we are doing this. I'm sure yes. there's somebody, I hope there's somebody, I hope even here there are people, they know someone with disability yes. and they will give them a call, hey, yes. are you registered with the National Council for People yes. Living with Disabilities? And the forms and are that. online. You download mm -hmm. and then you fill, you take them there. And with this you get, uh, as you say, the you assistive get technology. The, the, the assistive uh, devices like my walking stick, uh -huh. a wheelchair or earring aid mm -hmm. or these uh, lotion for the albinos and mm -hmm. all that. Then you can also get school fees from primary, secondary, colleges, university, BA, uh, BA, okay. university, uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. And you get tax exemption when, you're, yes, when you, you get, get employed? Yes. And you get tax exemption when you're buying a car? Duty exemption. Duty ex sorry, duty yes. exemption. Yes. So someone buying a but car at 1.4... You, you can't sell that car. <laughs> you cannot sell the car. <laughs> when you sell it, you, uh -huh. you, it's written duty-free, not transferable. Wow, okay. So it's just Brenda to drive it. For Brenda to drive. <laughs> so when someone is buying a car at 2 million, you're buying it at 1 million? Yeah, even less. Even less? Yeah. Wow, okay. So uh, thank you. Thank you for that. So now, I think we have come to the, con to the final part of the show. Mm -hmm. Do you, is this something that I've left out? No. It's good? Yeah. Now I want us to play a game with her. Now, this game is very simple, by the way. It doesn't require you to stand. She, we work together, so I make fun of her. Sometimes I steal, I steal the walking stick. Now, uh, <laughs> People are not very impressed He's with that. He's calling it a walking stick. Eh? Yes, it's an assistive device. <coughs> <laughs> she said we don't pity them. I think some of us are like, oh, stop, the, stop saying that. Okay. okay. Now, we are going to play the game called Two Truths and a Lie. I'm going to say two truths and one lie. And then you're going to find out which of the three is the lie. Okay. So, do you want to start? And then I, I, you read your three statements, then I... Let me start. Okay, go ahead. Let me start. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Where did I write mine? Now, here they are. Go ahead. I got married at the age of 20. You got married at the age of 20? My life is fun. Your life is fun? Of course. Because I'm disabled. Okay. I got a first class honors. You B. got a first class honors? BA. And BA. Yeah. You got married at 20? Yes. Uh, my life is fun. My life is fun. Because I'm disabled. Uh huh. And I think the first one is the lie that you got married at 20. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm, 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 this, that's the lie. Is that the lie? <laughs> why, why, why do you think I did get married at 20? 
<laughs> because I'm not going to say that your life is not fun because you're disabled. I'm not going to say that. Does it look like fun? Uh, you are a fun person. I don't know if it's because you're disabled, <laughs> but you are a fun person. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like fun to have disab disability? No. So that's the lie. Oh, you, you want me to lead you? Yes, I want you to confirm because, uh, by the way, we, we I have worked for, I, I work with her, and she is so much fun. She is so much energy. Now, uh, so. I got a first class honors. Why can that, that not be the lie? So which is the lie now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually confused. Which is the lie? Tell us. <laughs> Let them help you. Which is the lie? Yeah, that she got married at 20 years or not? Yes. See? That one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is, is the lie? Yes. Ah, uh, you see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was very stubborn on that one. No. <laughs> now, listen to mine. Oh, my. Oh, uh, yeah. I once tore my school short, Kaptula, in primary school, jumping Sengenge for fun with my friends, okay? Two, I once pretended to be dead to scare my mom. <laughs> and three, I fell from a tree when I was 11 years and broke my leg. Okay, which according to you is the lie? Like, yep. The one of climbing a tree. There are no trees in Nairobi. No, I, I grew up in the village. <laughs> I grew up in the village, I grew up in Sagana. I grew up in Sagana, so Nairobi to make you a kazi. You want me to read again? No. Okay, go. I'm still on that last one. You're still on the last one? Yes. Hey, we got it. Okay, fine. Ah! Great, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom, I scared my mom. I, I, I saw my mom coming. So what I did was I took a big log of wood, yeah. placed it on my chest and lay, and lay down on my back as if I'm dead. Oh, mom was screaming. She was sure I was dead. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't do that to your parents. Uh, this has been fun uh, talking to yeah. Brenda yeah. Betty Kiema on the Power Talk Show, talking about Everybody Matters. I hope that you've learned something uh, that you can help someone living with disability in your area, a relative or a friend, to, 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 live, uh, to find a way to connect themselves to these opportunities, especially the National Council for people living with disabilities. I also want to thank Enoch, the little young man right there. And I want to thank you all from NIBS. So for that, give yourself some, a round of applause. I'm going to see you next Wednesday on the Power Talk Show as we continue the conversation next Wednesday. We still have a, we'll continue with this conversation. And then the last Wednesday, if you are born during this month of July, we'll be celebrating birthdays as usual for the July babies. So don't miss on the last show and uh, be part, uh, comment and tell me that which day you are born on the very last show. Uh, you're going to be having cake and hmm. we'll be lit on your behalf. Okay, so have a good night. God bless you and see you next time.